Well, I'm here to talk to you about a bucket zero calibration pr process for a cat payload system on our wheel loaders. Bucket zero calibration process gives fresh information to that loader so it can maintain accuracy in that payload system for you. We will put a message up on that display five minutes after startup, as well as every 10 degree hydraulic temperature shift up or down will display that. And we recommend that uh, you would run a bucket zero calibration at your convenience. So finish loading your truck, and when you get a chance then run a bucket zero cal and it will help maintain that accuracy in that payload system. If you swap out your GET, that's a good time to run a bucket zero cal. If you've got material stuck in your bucket or material that is, was stuck and is now falling out, that's a difference in that bucket weight. So that's a good time to run a bucket zero calibration. But if you swap out a fusion bucket for a different size fusion bucket, different weight, oftentimes running a bucket zero calibration can help you maintain accuracy in that system. So if you don't have uh, the accuracy you're expecting, make sure you're running these bucket zero calibrations. It's a very easy process. We'll show you how to do it. So let's go ahead and demonstrate a bucket zero calibration. Basically, first you make sure that your bucket is clean and empty. And then you'll want to rack it fully back up against the stops. Once you're there, you'll give it a smooth, steady lift up through the weigh range until you obtain that green box and the bucket weight. And once you have, you can hit this bucket zero calibration button and you should get that confirmation that payload zero was accepted. Now you can do that stationary or you can do it while you're traveling as well, as long as it's safe to be traveling with your bucket up in the air.